thanks for meeting me at the restaurant to talk about the situation between Leo and I. These days I've really had to let go of some of my staff in order to keep the business viable, especially after that flop of a grand opening where, to be frank, I was the laughing stock of this area. But most importantly, I'm really disappointed in the fact that Leo would even consider making a claim against me. For $2,100, I thought I was done with him. I never wanted to talk to him again after I sent him that letter, basically telling him he had a breach of contract. So I don't know why he's coming after me for $2,100. Sorry if you don't mind, I'm going to be working while we're talking because, you know, there's no time to rest when you're trying to keep your business alive. But right here I have the um, contract that we made with each other. So, see, so you can see we um, had an agreement for 10 cases of vodka at $1,500 and $300 of vodka glasses, 300 vodka glasses for $500. And I was supposed to give the payment um, within 30 days of delivery. And it was supposed to be delivered on or before August 1st. So I don't understand where the message got messed up. But I'm here after spending every last penny that I own on promotion and advertising. I'm here August 1st for my grand opening of my martini bar, which is supposed to help me save my restaurant because, I mean, I'm sure he knew because I'm good friends with his cousin that the business hasn't been going that well and this is my life's dream. And as I was brainstorming and I really love the show Bar Rescue, Bar Rescue always says like, look at your market and see what you can do to improve your business and the martini bar was a great idea and I put a lot of time and thought and money into making this idea great. So when I trusted Leo who basically volunteered himself, I was talking to my um, customers when he overheard that I needed high quality vodka and martini glasses, well vodka glasses, for the night and he volunteered to help me. I didn't have a reason to believe he wasn't gonna come through with it. Actually, I had no reason he's been dependable. He provides some of the best meat in the area. I've never had any problems with uh, his work ethic. So I thought really everything was straight. We communicated consistently during the time. I mean, it wasn't a ton of time, but we consistently communicated about the fact that things were gonna be done right. And he, I am here at my grand opening. And what do I get? First of all, I don't have any vodka to start the whole night. I have a martini bar and I can't even provide martinis. Doesn't it seem horrible? And um, on top of that, when his delivery guy actually shows up and I really thought he would drop it off knowing how important this was to me and how I really needed the money to make sure that my business was going to thrive. Um, what happens? I mean, I don't know about you, but you don't have to be a rocket scientist. This is a wine glass, not a martini glass. What am I going to do with a wine glass and a martini bar? I mean, luckily I have wine at the restaurant, but my whole concept was martini. And I told him that my favorite vodka was Star Vodka. And I mean, I got every single thing. I mean, this is one of the things even was like a Grey Goose Vodka, which is fine vodka, but it's not Star Vodka and it's not what I thought I'd asked for. So when I found out that I was getting all different types of vodka, I mean, what was I going to do? I just started offering vodka for free to everyone in wine glasses so it wouldn't be such a flop the first night but as it was people left basically laughing at my concept and really making the night horrible for me I couldn't sleep for days because not only was I embarrassed about 
something I thought I had put a lot of time and effort into planning, but I couldn't sleep because I needed this to be successful so that I could maintain my business. And that's not the case. So I really think it's horrible that he is even thinking about going through with a claim against me and he can do what he wants and I'm frankly not going to talk to him anymore. I mean, I don't need to talk to him. There's nothing that I need to say to him and he knows I don't have the money to go to court, but if I have to, I will. I mean, this is like another time where like a man's just trying to get down um, and put down a woman for just trying to do something successful and be on her own. And um, and when they haven't met, they're into the bargain. And if I have to fight that, I will. And I'll let go more employees if I have to, to keep my business afloat and, and uh, prove to everyone else that I'm right. So thanks a lot for coming by. And I hope this gets resolved quickly because I don't have the money or the time to continue to fight with someone who didn't Hold up their end of the bargain.